What is going on, everybody? Back on it. Almost said Berserk. <laughs> one Piece, episode 380. I think we have this episode and then one more episode and we're done. The Thriller Bark. I don't know when we started. It's coming up on... What are we? A couple weeks away from Halloween. I feel like this... I don't know why this one felt so long. Um, and this lobby felt long. They, they all kind of feel like they drag after a while. <laughs> I can't remember the last one we watched, last arc that we watched, where I was just like, oh, this is... Actually, you, people shit on it. And maybe it's because he's been my favorite, I guess, antagonist up to this point. I didn't mind Skypea. I'm going to be dead grass with you there, brother. <laughs> I didn't mind it. These other ones, I'm like, uh And if you don't... I guess not to say they're like, oh, I'm a reactor. I wouldn't even call myself that. We don't make anything around here. Um, which is kind of more of a hobby. But I guess if you if you don't react to things, then you can just kind of crank episodes out. Because I get like one One Piece episode done a day. I know people that watch One Piece. I have a, a couple friends that have started One Piece recently, like in the last two months. And they're already in like the 800s, 900s. Like, long arcs to them are not, like, they spit out five, six, seven, eight episodes a day. Like, before they go to bed, they'll just crank out a bunch of episodes. So when I'm getting one episode done a day, a couple episodes done a week, I feel like they take forever. Forever. Um, and man, this one was rough. This one was rough for sure. But we got a couple episodes left. They bought me a little bit of grace with the Zoro and the Kuma stuff there a little bit. So it's kind of, it's holding me here. It, I can get through these next two episodes. We'll see what next to go. I'm told after this, like, One Piece becomes One Piece. I don't know what that means. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. We'll wrap up the Brook backstory, see what happens with the crew, and um, I guess go from there. Here we go. He holding his friend's skull? He is. What the hell? So did they all, so what happened is, I think I'm starting to remember, did he just collect everybody's skull and got him in a, oh jeez, that's a little dark. That's the darkest backstory we've had, no? Yeah. That's pretty dark. That's the darkest backstory of any of the characters we've gotten so far to this point. Collecting your dead crewmates or friends skulls and body parts so what happened is they got drifted into the kind of like Bermuda Triangle shit and I'm guessing so they got they somehow ended, ended up in there grand line you know who knows what goes on in there um, got in there got stuck could never get out and in that process just ran out of food everything and just everyone just slowly started dying off he ate a devil's fruit, which I don't even know if he knew that he had, or knew that he that was what the devil's fruit did. <laughs> he ate a devil's fruit that essentially gave him, like, revive or type shit. He died like everybody else, came back around and revive. But the thing is, like, he also doesn't need any substance, though, I guess. Because he doesn't have to eat. Now, but since he's been reborn, is he just now, like, just walking dead? Doesn't need to eat? Because he's not reborn as a human. I guess when he was reborn, he came back to the state of his body, and that was the state of his body. And I guess the state of a skeleton doesn't need to eat or drink, is what I'm assuming. By the time his soul made it back around. Like, I'd be curious, like, if he was just stabbed dead... Body still intact, skin, organs, and all. Um, and his body, his soul made it back in time. He'd have, he'd had everything. I don't know. I'm assuming. Who knows? Ooh, got a little bounty on his ass. Okay. Brook got a bounty? Probably not. Probably not. Well, he he will after this, but. And I don't know why I try to make things logically make sense when we've got whatever Frankie is. <laughs> whatever Kuma actually is. 
Um, who knows? Who actually knows? And then he was just stuck there hanging out. And then we showed up. Lucky him. And got him a shadow back. Crew's gonna get it. How about we back up there, guys? Back it on up. Back it on up. I was about to say, they need to dock somewhere and, like, not all be congested on that ship. Yeah. Get the hell out of there, guys. It's not safe. Is that a single doctor in there? Dang, you skin. He's got little purple splotches and shit going on. Damn. That's how he went out, huh? So they've just docked on some rando dandle jungle island and picked up a disease. Where's Chopper and a uh, Mistress Doctor when you need them? Doctrine. Going out like that, huh? I mean, I guess I don't have a choice. He says he can't cure him. Who knows where the a better doctor would be anywhere in the Grand Line. They're not familiar with the area. It's like, do we all just stay and die, or... Like, because we'll all just end up getting sick. He wants you to play the song for him one more time, I bet. Damn. Yeah, he was... Yeah. He knew he was. He knew he was. He had to... He, he had to stay strong in front of his crew, which I get. But that's not how you want to go out. He finally got to the Grand Line. Probably was his life's dream. Probably like Luffy. Who knows what his dream was, but... He knew what his dream was, but you know, like everybody, he wants to be the Grand Line, find the One Piece, King of the Pirates, etc., etc. And to go out like this? Not by the ocean, not to Marines firing on you, not to other pirates, etc. But, like that? Yeah. You knew he'd want that song again. So is anybody on the ship with him? Or how did we get back on the ship? Wait, how'd, how'd every, how did people end up back on the ship? It looked like everyone was on shore and the ship was just kind of... I don't know. Does it matter? Maybe. Probably not. What does that say? Any translation? I'm assuming... X amount of time since this past when he's been stuck is what that's saying. Oh God! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> at that point, you start you do start mentally losing it. Yeah, you start mentally losing it. But he could die though. Um, like, if he got to that mental breaking point where he's like, I can't do this anymore, I gotta take myself out. Um. 
All he has to do is jump overboard because he, he can't swim because the devil's hurt, right? Hmm. Man's really mentally going through it. He had a good attitude about it, though. When we rolled up on him the first time. I feel like I need a, a Brook backstory refresher. So we see what happens to his captain. They send his ass off on the ship. Because he's sick. The crew didn't stay with him. But then we see Brooks on the ship, stuck in the triangle, can't get out, got all of his crewmates' skel skeletons and everything in there. So how did they all get back on the ship when they sent the captain off? And then where and how did they run into... Um, Moria along the way? I don't know. We're up, we're up. I wonder what the crew would do. Ooh. Brooke got a little bounty on him. And the crew went on. Brooke led it and... Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, I don't know how we got back on the ship. So this has got to have him feeling all types of emotional then. Interesting backstory. What's wild is like he probably had the darkest little backstory there. Um, Just from the sheer volume of friends and crewmates that he lost and then is just hanging out with skeletons. But he kept his mental, which most people wouldn't be able to do. Bro, what is he supposed to do? Play all night? Y'all don't pay him shit. But to say, can the man take a break? It. It. Oh, tell me it'll just play the music for him. Give my man a break. Oh. The animation looks so much better from last episode. Music, hopefully. I have to say, they just want this man to play that piano for 12, 16, 24 hours on end. That's like asking Sanji to just sit there and cook. Keep cooking. No, you get back in the kitchen. Keep cooking. <laughs> it's like this eventually has to stop. Oh, there we go. So they did get attacked. Maybe I'm just forgetting all this information. I apologize if this got explained the first time. I do not remember any of Brooke's backstory and how the crew died. Ooh. So they got attacked by other pirates that had poison laced in their weapons. We don't know. Yeah. How am I supposed to know until I die? So they got attacked. They didn't get stuck in die of starvation. Just attacked by a rando dando? Or is that more... I don't know. Where the hell did he get his hands on that from? What a great crew this was, though. Better than the shit crew we got. <laughs> They're all 
always so positive and just agreeing and down to ride and no regrets and they're not scared and we press on. Real connection there. Men just out here just prepared. So now we're hearing the song live. And it's as they're playing it through the record. Yeah, that's nice. It's a nice touch. Shut up, Lola. We're having a moment. Everyone in there is just going to die. Binks Brew. I you know what would be really sad and really dramatic? Which I don't think they do. They might. That skeleton shit was pretty dark. I'm not going to lie. Um, we slowly start seeing them just like fall out one by one. Here as they're playing the song. Um, from their injuries and the poison. And the last one left standing is like Brooke. That would be... That'd be kind of that'd be pretty depressing, because we we know they do all die, but you hear the music start like getting less and less loud, and less and less people are singing. They could. It'd be a nice little touch, though. We got a couple minutes left. Let's see what they decide to do. That reminds me, and I brought this up the first time I heard it on the piano. If any of you guys have watched Westworld, which if you're into that kind of like sci-fi, like crazy uh, plot twist and that type of stuff, definitely watch it. But if you have, you know when they're in the bar and they all, they're all they always in the bar and the piano is like set to play? That's what this song reminds me of, the piano. Everything always turns out great. Hopefully they don't show. I kind of want them to show the crew just like slowly dying one by one. But I feel like he's been through enough already. To see them slowly die one by one and then to like go collect their bones after. Oof. It's coming to the end here. Are we going to just end on a good note, or is this going to get really depressing? Now it's just him singing. Mm -hmm, we got like a minute left. Okay, so they, they didn't show them all dropping off one by one. That would have been a lot. Decent song. I still prefer the... Uh, <laughs> um... Luffy's Skypea song, calling everybody idiots and shit. That one was, I think I prefer that one. They are starting to drop off one by. Fucking hell. Mmm. <sighs> I do it. That's fucked up. He's he has the worst backstory to date, in my opinion. Hundred percent the worst. That is the worst. I actually applaud them for doing that, though. I didn't think they would. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Great to sail to the Rumbar Pirates. Because at that moment, he's lost Laboon, who he was the closest with. Lost his captain. Essentially in front of his face. Crewmates die one by one by one. 
gets revived, essentially cursed, essentially with the Devil's Fruit, as they all drop dead one by one. Comes back to life, sees their dead carcass skeletons, and rounds them all up. Shitty. Alright, we're gonna make our way around. That has to be the worst, most depressing backstory. I don't know how many more crew members we make along the way. Um. Whoa there, bucko. Uh. I mean, that's a pretty great shot. Yeah, I don't know how many more crew members we make along the way. So whose backstories to compete? And they all have their like kind of dark tones and backstories and stuff. Um, but it's just one thing after another. I don't want to sit here and compare like, oh, whose was more depressing? You know, Nami getting her mother killed in front of her face, going having to go behind enemy lines, and then getting tricked into thinking what she was going to do was going to be worth it, and then it wasn't. I mean, that's pretty shitty. Because she sees that happen, she decides, I'm going to do this to make it all better after the fact, and then she couldn't. Um, but the problem, but what helps with that was, is like she got instant help with that, though. She didn't realize that she wasn't going to be able to make it better, and then went on years after that. As soon as like it was found out, she couldn't make it better, and was stabbing her arm, and like Luffy and the crew was ready to there, already there, like, we're here to help you grow. Don't worry about it. Sanji had his, but his still had a decent kind of like coming around to it with getting stuck on that rock and, you know, Zef, Zef, Zef you know, taking off his own leg and looks like they're not going to make it. They still survived and he still got to, you know, build relationships and cook on the ship and all that type of stuff. Um, Usopp's is pretty bad, losing both of his parents and then kind of finding ways to cope with the fact, but he still had... Um, Kaya and other things to kind of mentally keep him in it. Zoro's was pretty bad. Um, but again, he kind of had a motivation to keep him going. You kind of see it there. And I haven't seen enough of Luffy backstory to kind of see how that is. Chopper, also pretty bad, but he did have the doctor going stride by stride with him. Um, and then also had Doctrine there to kind of like pick him up off the ground before it got too bad. Um, and then he met us. Am I missing anybody? Frankie. Um, but Frankie had, you know, his brothers and family and all those type of things. So th there were things there to, like, even when they hit their lowest things, they're to, like, pick them right back up, you know, to keep them mentally in it. This was just shit. <laughs> all of this was shit. At least when they kind of had to separate with Laboon, it was like, okay, we're going to leave him here. And he got to leave off as a, with his crew. You know, the captain goes down from the sickness. Shitty. Okay, so we lose Laboon. Captain goes down. Crew goes down, watches the crew all die one by one, comes back to life, and sees what's become of them, and is just stuck on that ship with the bone. That's a, that's a, and then solo, isolated. A lot of people mentally wouldn't be able to handle that shit. A lot of people mentally in his situation, knowing that there's a way for them to go out, could have just fallen off the, the ship. I still don't know how he's able to die. Like, can the bones be put back together, like on some buggy type shit? Or it's like... If I take one of his arms off or one of his legs, it's... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty shitty for the most part. He's got to have the worst backstory so far, in my opinion. Just from just stacked one after another. And then on top of it, it's the isolation on top of it that like takes it over the top. Like I said, everybody, when they were kind of at their lowest, kind of was able to kind of get scooped back out of there. Um, he just sat there on that ship, by himself, revived, just mentally losing it. Um, so I'm missing something somewhere. They sent the captain off on the ship, right? With his sickness. But then we see him pirating the same ship? So did they just like go back and get the ship after he died and like cleaned it out and then got back on it and took... I don't know, somebody will fill that in for me. And then did they just get attacked by random rando dando pirates? that had the poison weapons and killed them off or how did that go not sure 
but we'll figure it out and see. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always, 